morning. It's Thursday, August 8th. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Wex Wake Up. I'm Natasha Sweet. In a CBS interview set to air Sunday, President Joe Biden said he doesn't believe that there will be a peaceful transition of power if former President Donald Trump loses the election. Are you confident that there will be a peaceful transfer of power in January 2025? If Trump wins, no, I'm not confident at all. I mean, if Trump loses, I'm not confident. During the first presidential debate in June, Trump addressed this very concern. Will you accept the results of the election, regardless of who wins? Yes or no, please. If it's a fair and legal and good election, absolutely. Biden said he's worried about comments Trump made about fears Democrats will rig the election against Republicans. He means what he says. We don't take him seriously. He means it. All the stuff about if we lose, there'll be a bloodbath. While Trump used the term bloodbath at a rally in Ohio, he later claimed the media and Democrats took his comments out of context. During his time in Congress, then-Representative Tim Walz raised concerns about corporate power, but it didn't stop him from accepting their checks. I learned the art of compromise without compromising my values. Waltz, as he represented Minnesota's first congressional district from 2007 to 2019, raked in over $1.7 million from political action committees. Campaign records show these PACs were in fact funded by corporations. She stood up against powerful corporate interests and she never hesitated. The vice presidential nominee recently chaired the Democratic Governors Association, which pockets donations from corporations such as CVS Health, Walmart, Comcast and Coca-Cola. Despite receiving campaign donations from corporations such as Walmart, Lando Lakes, General Mills to Pfizer, Waltz also shares close ties to the lobbying world. With both presidential campaigns in Wisconsin, Trump's running mate had some fun with reporters on the tarmac. Our Christian Daytalk has more on the point he was making. Kamala Harris's whirlwind battleground campaigning brought her to Wisconsin on Wednesday. J.D. Vance also campaigned in the state. and He took a moment out of his day to troll the vice president on the tarmac. I figured I'd come by and warn you to get on the plane. So hopefully it's going to be my plane in a few months. But I also thought you guys might get lonely because the vice president doesn't answer questions from reporters and hasn't for 17 days. Uh, have they given you guys an explanation for why she won't take questions from reporters? Vance mentioned to reporters that Harris hasn't held a press conference or publicly fielded questions from reporters since entering the race in July. Reporting for the Washington Examiner, I'm Christian Daytalk. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday morning. For more stories, be sure to head on over to our websites and give us a follow on social media so you can stay in the know and all that's trending in politics. Have a great day.